Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. Well, the Christmas ornament challenge is complete. The votes are in, the results are announced, but there's still a lot of great stuff out there to look at, to view, and to emulate. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. In, in the challenge, Kurt uh, Wolf Klammer uh, made an ornament similar to this one, with, uh, but it consists essentially of a natural edge bowl, if you look at it this way, and then a finial, and of course a, a hanger on the top. So uh, this is walnut and uh, hazelnut. Uh, I really like uh, trying to do things that I see and do them a little bit my way. So now for next year, remember the challenge is coming up. It'll be our 10th annual challenge. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some great stuff, especially if you start planning now and mark it on your calendar. For now, let's make this one little umbrella style ornament. I found this piece of a walnut limb from an old pruning job. I had sealed the ends to prevent checking and it has been a few months sitting in my shop. The limb is about three inches diameter. I cut off a piece six to eight inches long. I have mounted it with a two prong drive center aligned with the grain. My first step is to gently trim back the ends to be even. This may not have been essential, but I feel better having the ends predictable. Next, move the tool rest so that I can trim around the live center. Then measure for a chuck mount. Now that the wood is mounted securely in the chuck, I can safely hollow one side for a bowl-like cavity. This is still work for my large bowl gouge. But before I go on, I am measuring to cut a shallow mortise for an expansion mount. In retrospect, I should have also drilled a mounting hole for a future finial. More on that later. After sanding the hollow, I am applying shellac friction polish without very much friction since the wood is uneven. Now to reverse the wood with an expansion mount. I can gently tool down the exterior. I want to reduce the wall thickness, but cannot visualize the wall thickness with the chuck in the way. I have to stop and remove the wood to assess the wall thickness. I am being very gentle. To start with, the top is looking very triangular and I do not like it very much. Rather than to remove it all, I think a bead may look good on the top.
Before I go any further, I'm drilling a small hole in the top so that I can glue a wire hanger into it. Of course, sand and apply shellac pot finish to the top side. Now to make up for not drilling a finial hole when the whole wood was mounted securely in the chuck earlier. It turns out that the top knob can hold the wood while I make up for that omission with a 3 8 inch Forstner bit. Now for the finial. A couple of years ago, I cut a lot of suckers from a hazelnut tree in my yard. After seeing how nicely it turns, I went back and salvaged the wood. Fortunately, it does not check badly as it dries. This piece is probably too long. I have mounted it between centers to rough round it and to cut a mounting tenon. What would I do without my chuck? Now that it is secure in the chuck, it is time to pull out my freshly sharpened skew. Unless I want a distinct cove, my skew is my preferred tool. It gives a nice clean cut. Some say not to support the tail end while cutting a finial. Sometimes I do it that way, but usually I leave the life center in place. I like that it supports the long thin finial. With a skew, I can separate it cleanly at the last minute with a minimum of sanding. I do want to work from the life center end back towards the tail headstock. That gives the wood plenty of support by leaving the wood thicker until I have to. After sanding, I'm burning lines to accent key transition points. The wood is so white, a little accent is nice. Then apply shellac and assemble. Et voila, my ornament is finished. Actually, all that it is is a small natural edge bowl with a finial. Thanks, Kirk, for the inspiration. This will be a nice addition to my Christmas ornaments. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video and add it to my website. As usual, I appeal for you to wear your full face shield for safety anytime the lathe is running. I will see you next week with another wood turning video. Be wise in these COVID times, count your blessings, and stay healthy. Season's greetings to all.